much. Hello everybody, it's me Coral. I'm back again. I'm here with my TBR for March. Well, let's see. The first book I'd like to talk about today is The House, what is it called? The House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Moss. This is one that's coming out at the very, very beginning of the month. And it looks like it's gonna be a whopper. Uh, Goodreads says it's 816 pages. So the rest of my TBR is not very big this month because I wanna be able to read it. And this is a fantasy series, the beginning of a fantasy series. I'm not sure if it's leaning more towards adult fantasy or YA fantasy, but I have to say, I hope it's more adult. Although I've really liked her books uh, previous to this that were considered YA. So like, I, I think I'm going to like it anyways. And this is about a young woman and she is half fairy and half human. I'm not sure if she knows it right away though, uh, because her friends get slaughtered by a demon and she is accused of their murders. Um, that's all I know about it. I honestly had no idea what it was about at all until right now when I figured I'd better look it up so I can tell you guys about it because I'm just probably gonna read anything she writes. What's next here? Um, next I have as seen on TV by John Wayne Caminelli. This is one I've been trying to read for so fucking long and it feels weird saying that because it's like, why don't you just read it then? I don't know. I've had this on at least two TBRs in the last couple years and I just haven't gotten to it yet. But this is about a serial killer named Artie and he is obsessed with as seen on TV products. He becomes convinced that the reason he hasn't been caught for his murders uh, has to do with his next door neighbor in his apartment complex. So I don't really know where it goes from there. I think that this is weird fiction. Um, I'm not sure though, I haven't read it. And I haven't looked anything up on it. I don't know, I think it is. I guess we'll see. Next I have the beginning of the Nevernight Chronicles? What is this called? I don't know. There, I think there's a name for the series, but this is just Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. And this is about a badass assassin in training. Um, and that's all I really know about it. I've been meaning to read this one for so long as well. Um, there's a couple books on my TBR actually that are like that this month. I meant to read it at some point last month, but this is one of my five star predictions for this year. I hope it's five stars. I have the next book. So maybe if the rest of these books don't take too long, I'll get to that one. Next, I have a very anticipated read. This is Bunny by Mona Awad. And this is about a young college student who gets invited to like a secret society. And I've heard it's very weird. And that's all I know. They call each other Bunny, which is so strange. I really like bunnies though. I used to have two bunnies. Their names were Totoro and Mokuna but I don't have them anymore. Um, anyways, then I have the fourth book in the Dexter series by Jeff Lindsay. This is Dexter by Design. I'm assuming this takes off after the events of the third book. I don't wanna give anything away. Um, this book series has been much, much different than the TV series. I really appreciate it and I like where it's going so far, particularly for Rita's children. It's weird. I like it. Okay, and uh, let's see, the last one that I've picked before my TBR jar is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This is another one I meant to read last year. It was on a TBR. I mean, I, I pre-ordered it, so like, I should have read it, but I didn't. Um, I'm not super sure on the plot about this one either, but it has to do with like a college student and a secret society as well, so. I know for sure two books this month are gonna be like that. And I feel like maybe House of Blood and Earth might also have a college student. I don't know, it could be very, very wrong. So don't take my word for it. All right, and on to my TBR jar. I didn't read my pick from last month. It was No One Gets Out Alive by Adam Neville because every person who commented on my video about it said that they didn't like it, it was bad and I feel super burnt by last days, which I write up by him. And I think last month just wouldn't have been a good month for me to even try No One Gets Out Alive. Cause I had read a couple books last month that I didn't like. So I didn't want to like exacerbate that and put that and put myself into a reading slump by reading something I really didn't like. So 
here we go. Well, it's like four books I've picked have been horror. What will it be? Orange. I think that's th I think that's a thriller. That would be nice. I've actually been thinking about thrillers lately. The Lion Game. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Let's see. I think that's a Ruth Ware book. It is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. Uh, haven't read this one. And I'm a little hit or miss on Ruth Ware. I think for the, I haven't read all of her books, obviously. But for the most part, um, more often than not, in the ones that I've read, I've really liked the plot, but then the ending is just so bleh. So I don't know, it, will her ending be good? We'll have to see. I think that's a pretty good breeding month for me. Right there, that's it I guess. This was kind of short. Also, probably my all my other videos don't have to be 20 minutes long, but here we are, I guess. Um, this is what I'm planning to read in March. We'll see how this goes. Let me know if you've read any of these and if you've liked any of them. Um, I'm really curious, maybe if you've read The Lion Game, don't tell me the ending, but let me know how you, what you thought about it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, Bunny, let me know if you read Bunny. As always, like, don't spoil it because that's so rude. But tell me if you liked it. That's all I have for you guys. I will see you later. I don't know what my next video is gonna be after this. Probably my nightworms and packaging. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.